The last ice age took place between 10,000 and 5,000 years ago and had a warm climate that favored the development of an important forest cover. In this prehistoric period, also known as the Mesolithic, the Luxembourgish territory is frequented by the last groups of hunter-gatherers. These semi-nomadic societies set up camp particularly on plateaus, but also in caves and at the base of rock shelters. Multiple shelters are present in valleys at the base of the sandstone cliffs of Luxembourg, for example, along the Black Urns in the Mulatal region. At the locality of Lochbor, named after the small stream that flows in the Black Urns, Archaeological excavations were undertaken in 1935 by Charles Weber. De Charles worked for Nicholas Till, a tutor from Heffingen, in collaboration with the anthropologist Marcel Hayatz, future director of the Musée d'Histoire Naturelle in Luxembourg. During these excavations, a Mesolithic burial site was found at the base of a rock face, more precisely, an anatomically connected human skeleton accompanied by flints and sides of aurochs. The body was intentionally placed on its back with legs crossed and arms arranged on the body. Known earlier as the oldest Luxemburger, the Lochbohr man was recently the subject of new anthropological analysis. These examinations have enabled researchers to more precisely identify the oldest man of Luxembourg. We now know his age, his height, his gender, his DNA, his diet, and also any possible illnesses he may have had.
Together with these new anthropological findings, a bone sample has been dated using the carbon-14 method. The Loshbor man would have lived close to 6,000 years before our time and would be one of the last Mesolithic hunter-gatherers before the arrival of the first farmers and breeders in Northern Europe, announcing the start of the Neolithic age. Recent DNA analysis has enabled facial reconstruction. He had dark to black hair, his skin tanned or bronzed, and his eyes light, probably blue. He belongs to the U5 haplotype, which is present nowadays in the north of Scandinavia among the Sami population. Due to his DNA being exceptionally well preserved, the 8,000 year old Mesolithic Loshborn man has established a genetic reference on a global scale.